Good morning. Um, it's telling me I'm live, so hopefully I'm live. I'm not sure if it's going to tell me if anybody's watching. Um, yes, it does. So I'll just wait a minute or so. Um, as you can see, my desk is in a mess before I've started. Um, pushing things out the way here. Yeah, and it's a mess. Mouse I don't want. Right, if you're watching, can you say hello? I'm using I'm using StreamYard as I put up in the group. Um, it's a third party um, streaming service. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it is uh, by the name. Um, if you don't give it permission, um, that's fine. But if you're going to make a comment, can you just actually put your name in um, so that I know who is commenting? Um, where the comments are going to come up, I have no idea. Um, just going to go over back to you see. Just hoping I don't pick myself up live now. <laughs> right, I can see in the group, Maria, you've said good morning. Yes, it's come up here. Hi, Maria. <coughs> Always have a cough when I start recording. Must be nervousness. How are you doing? You okay? Uh, I think it's just me and you. Right, um, we've had lots of new members and I think um, a lot of them, um, or some of them are abroad in or overseas in like the United States, Canada, Australia, um, India, I think. Um, I can't remember them all. Um, so that um, they won't be watching now, I wouldn't have thought. Right, I've got a few uh, people watching, as I said, if you can just say hello, that would be great. You don't have to. Um, if you do want to make a comment and you don't give StreamYard your permission um, to use your name, then you need to um, you need to put your name by um, any comments you make because it will just come up to me as user or whatever. Um, I won't know who you are. Yeah, I'm fine, Maria. Um, it's nice and warm, so I've actually been in the garden once or twice. In fact, I'm melting away in here. Um, right, I'm going to get started. So as I said, this morning I'm going to use um, a gel plate and um, some brushos and some Distress Oxide. You can see I've got them all here. Um, the brushos um, come in a box. You can see there, um, a lot of you've got brushos. Um, basically, I've just stuck a hole in the top. I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring the camera in. I'm useless with this, am I? Right, I need to go here. So, you've got, um, I've put a little um, hole in the top so you can sprinkle them out. Um, otherwise, if you take the top off, I've uh, not done it myself, but I've seen and been told that the the um, crystals will just go all over the place. So um, I took I stuck to these guys. And what we're going to do with them is um, something like this. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to um, make exactly the same. Um, that was just um, a play. Um, right. So let's get started. Right, for, we've got a lot of newbies again, new, new um, to card making, so um, I will explain little bits as I go along. Um, apologies for those who are um, teaching granny to suck eggs, but um, we all got to start somewhere. So, um, as I said, this is a gel plate and it's um, a screen, um, it's like a screen printer. It comes in one of these um, clam packages. It'll come with an acetate on top and an acetate underneath, plus um, like a leaflet instructions or what have you. Once you open the box and take the acetate off and take this out, throw the acetate away or use it for whatever you like in your craft. Don't put it back on the jelly, jelly 
the gel plate because you'll ruin it. I've already ruined one by using glossy paper, which stuck to it um, and keeping the acetate on. You must, you do need to um, store it in this though. Just this with nothing else. Okay, so that's it. Out the way, I'll explain what I'm using as I go along. Right, um, the easiest way to use um, the gel plate is with a, I'm going to come in just slightly. Yeah, slightly, it's a lot. If this is the stage as my um, Zoom will do, either all or nothing. Let me in over a bit. There we go, I go back a bit now. Oh, hi, whoever said evening, um, I, good evening, I don't know who you are because it just gives me Facebook user. Um, if you could, if you could just let me know who you are, um, or give StreamYard permission, it makes no odds to me, um, but evening, whoever you are, um, evening, so that could be Glennis, I'm assuming it could be Glennis, so it could be, um, Evening, evening, gotta be that part of the world. Evening, if it's Glenis, <laughs> not even in the weather. In my sticking a whole year in my Glenis, yes, it is. See, I guess you correctly. Okay, um, you don't need to know what I've explained because you've seen all this about the jelly plate before. Right, the next thing you need really is a steam um, a brayer. Now, these I had an ordinary brayer um, and it didn't work as good on this as a speedball one. Well, um, what they mean, I don't know, but I do know this is soft rubber as opposed to hard. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to use, um, this is the sort of thing I'm making, Glenix, in case you missed it. Hi, Christina. Um... I'm going to use Distress Oxide, um, first of all, just to put a layer on the plate. Um, these are my brushos. Um, if you missed it, they're just they're little pots and they've got um, sort of crystals in them. Um, basically, what I've done is um, put some water into a little pot and I can get these really cheaply or you can get um, a, a proper palette i believe they've got a palette for them which looks all very nice don't know if they got tops to them but these were much cheaper so um i normally like all the designer stuff but i couldn't afford it so i went with these so i don't want purple or do i yeah i think there's a little bit of everything um right yes i put a bit of water in them and then i literally got the um brush shows us to screen emerald green we'll just just show you um i've just got the um pot and just put it in the water and mixed it round. okay um i've read somewhere that that's the way you should do it is put the water in first and then um put the brush in on top don't know the uh, scientific thing behind it but that's what you, that's what i read or I heard on a on a YouTube video. Right, I'm getting <clears throat> I've got distress oxide here and it's scattered straw. Okay, um so I'll put this in a bit now and distort everything again. So, there we go, hey, I'm getting good at this. Um so I'm gonna roll this here. Now what you'll see, you'll see it go you need to keep lifting up the roller so that um it does go on there. Um and you'll see that it's on the roller, but when I put it on here, um, you probably won't see it as well. In fact, you can see it slightly. Um, it is on there. I can see it slightly. I can see it's smooth. And that is all you need for that. Um, I won't need this again unless I do two. So I'm just going to, um, you can either get the excess off, there won't be much on there, onto another piece of paper, or this is. Um, a baby wipe that's no longer wet and what i've been doing is um using just have a look here i've been using these uh, baby wipes now and again to wipe to wipe it off the um roller to get dry dry to get clean um and then i i am going to use these i've got them here I don't know what for yet, but um, you know, they lovely patterns. 
So, um, yeah, it looks like a rag, but I mean, you can cut things out to them and put them on, use them with mixed canvas, um, mixed media stuff. Um, I don't know yet, but I, I'm going to do something. So, what you want next is your brushos and a fan brush, which I have dipped in some water here. Okay. Um, you don't dip it in the water. I've got it in there because I've been messing about with them this morning. It doesn't matter that it's in water because these are water anyway. I'm literally going to dip it in, keeping that down a bit, into the brush hose. And then I'm going to do a little bit by here or on there, um, just so that it's not two big splatters. And then I'm just going to um, splatter it all over here. Now, these distressed oxides will oxidize with water um, and a mixture of pigment and dye. Um, but there's another bit of formula in there, um, which obviously we're not going to find out what, um, which makes them oxidize. So they um, sort of spread out more than the ordinary distress inks. So by using these, um, they will, they'll make it, because I've put water on here now, it will oxidize. Yeah. I don't, I don't want big drips on there, but, um, although sometimes big drips are, are really good. I'm going to purposely put some big ones here. Oh, I meant to do this in sort of, not random all over the place, but too late now. I'm going to try and do um, more orderly. But, oh, I missed out the red, didn't I? Hmm, don't look very green. Of course, if, if you want to, you can always... Um, Add a bit more powder in there if you want the colour darker. I'm only um, washing this out because I don't want them all contaminated and all the colours are running into each other. Where it'll be nice with um, the red and the blue will make purple. If I start mixing them all, I'm going to get a mucky brown, which is not a good sight. Right, I think I've got enough different colours, so I'm not going to. Actually, not going to use the purple. I think I got too many colours. Um, but hey ho, it's fun. Right, I'm just going to move up there. Right, the paper I'm using, or the card I'm using, I keep trying to think now, I got all different ones here, is 160. I think it's this one. 160 grams. Um, you can use copy paper. I've actually got um you can't see, well you can see it now. a uh, uh, card underneath here so that if I want to line it up specifically, which I don't because I'm gonna cut it down. Um if you want to line it up properly, then you can put that underneath and you can actually line it up to make sure it's straight or whatever. Yeah, this is the I can tell this is 160 grams. Um, you can use less um, with the acrylics, but I'll show you how I got on with um, lower ones. Ah, perhaps that's why. Now I'm going to have, uh, I had two of them. <laughs> now I'm going to have a bit of uh, a kink there, but I can see it first. So that's what I've got. It's a lot yellower than it's showing there. So when it, I really need it to dry out before I, um, what am I doing? Let me think, let me think. Ah, I'm cleaning it. Or do I need to? Yeah, I'm going to do the next one in grey. I'm going to do two because that one needs to dry out a bit. I use the other pile of uh, card or paper I got here just to test it. Okay, I will. I'll go quickly on this one, so you won't be sitting here waiting for me forever. I'll do that. Okay. 
but this one you're not going to be able to see. It's still got wet on there from there. Uh, Hello, along. Go okay, won't it? It's still wet, yeah. You can see I've got puddles in you. And it's sliding all over the place. This will be a new one. Yep, we'll see what we can get with that. I don't really think I need to uh, put much of this on because there's already water on there, silly me. I sprayed it, didn't I? You know, my mind wanders onto the next thing when I'm doing something. Yeah, look, it's um, oxidising as, <laughs> as it goes on. I'm going to do big blobs this time. I guess some of this on will have some purple. Oh, yeah, look, they're all merging into one another. That was because the plate was a little bit wet when I started. I didn't see them merging, but I don't know if you can see the um, it oxidising. No, you can't. It doesn't show it very well, but it's um, it's all oxidising all over the place. So I'm going to have to be careful now with what I'm using because I don't want brown. So if I try and get in between, because the three primary colours together will make um, will make brown if you don't um, sort of. Put them in proportions to what sort of colour you want to make from them. That's why you get mud out of stuff. You've got yellow, green and red all together, I think. Don't hold me to it. Okay. Going in. I think this might be the 160 gram. Yeah, it's... This one comes out. I'm not sure I like the other one. Oh, I'm liking that one. It's very pale, so I can't. Yeah, can you tell? Can you see? Right, Louise is snuck in. I don't know where Louise came in. Hi, Louise. Okay, so that's that for them. Um, now I'm going to have to um, either let it dry or I can use one I did this morning. I'm going to use one I did this morning because you don't want to be sat here. I've already been on 20 minutes and I should not. I should be a bit quicker. Lord be bored. This is all it needs really is a bit of a, a spritz. And then I should take it off and put it away because if I don't put it away, it's going to get left under something and be ruined, and they're not um, cheap. So. How good am I putting it away? Right. I'm also going to put the tops on these because we all know what will happen if I don't. The replay will be up for those who came in late. Um, I went over a few basics um, for anyone that's new. I think this pot's leaking. It's very troublesome, that one. Right, let's come back up again. There we go. I can go. I, probably, I will use something like that to bring it off when I do new acrylic. Now, what I've got here as well is um, this one. It was only the one colour um, I was using it to take off the jelly plate. This is copy paper, okay? So you can see there's a few sort of creases in there, but it'll it's good enough for um, cutting, you know, stamping and cutting out like flowers and um, things like that. Um, it's also okay to use as a background, not a problem. 
Um, this is the one I did this morning, which was a bit flimsy, um, but better quality than better quality than this one. So we've got that one, that one. Um, it's not sort of as crinkled, if you like. Um, but this actually gives you like a distressed paper. And then we've got this one that I, no, that was the two that I did. I'm going to use this one, which is um, one I did yesterday. But just to show you the difference in um, acrylic and the distress ink, um, this is how the acrylic comes off. And that's um, sort of the same paper as this is. So um, your acrylics make it stronger well don't make it stronger but it, it stays the same as opposed to this obviously the waters and um, sort of crinkled it okay so where are we going next right now i'm going to use some um stamps um oh, don't say i haven't got them i sat here and went through everything i needed and brought the stamps with me okay just a second I'll be back and I'll go over the room. Right where I put them all out ready. Got to bring them over here. Right, I'm using um, this one by Lavinia Stamps. Don't know what it's called because it doesn't say. Oh. I'm into Lavinia Stamps at the moment. Um, as well as All and Create, as well as um, Indigo Blue. Anything I can get my hands on at the moment, I need to stamp some in. Right. I have no idea where my All and Create um, block has gone, so I should be using this. <clears throat> right. For those who haven't used stamps and want to want to know um, what sort of ink you use on them, um, I'm into this. Um, yeah, Versafine Clear Ink at the moment. It's um, a pigment ink, which means it stays wet long. Why are the plates so expensive, Sally? I have no idea, but they are. I don't know. I've even looked sort of um, on eBay and all those sorts of things, and um, I can't find any cheap. Right, you came in at the start of the last print. That's okay, um, Louise. You, um, as I said, you can watch it from the beginning. I just explained a bit about the inks and what um, the brush shows and what have you. Um, yeah, the Versafine Clear is a pigment ink, which means it. it um it dries much slower than um, a dye ink so it's good for embossing and um it won't smudge if you're going to color in the image after um with watercolor i think that's the theory so where am i going with this yeah i've cut out i've got a cut out of um a sweet dixie unicorn um i i I'm sure I've got a unicorn stamp somewhere, which is what I was going to use, but can I find it? No, um, I might not even have one. I know I sold them at one stage, but whether I had one myself, what am I doing? It's another matter. Let's get rid of the brayer before I start braying and stuff. It's my new favourite tool. Okay, I'm just going to um, decide where I want my unicorn, and then I'm going to sort of stamp around him. Yeah, we'll go by there. So I've got a few sheets of paper here because it'll help the um, ink press in. Um, I'm going to come a bit off the edge, uh, press it down. If you leave it for a little bit longer, don't just down and up. And you should, if you if you inked it properly, which I think I haven't by there, you get a nice crisp image. I'm going to do, can I get some of this right? No, I'm going to have him over here with some, um, I'll get on with it. I'm just going to do a, a few little ones over here. It's in the edge. Didn't need to stamp it all, but I did. 
and give it a good um, press down. These first of fine clear um, ink. Um, I'm really liking them. I do like them. Cineco, uh, yeah, Cineco they're made by. So I've got that there. That will come to about there. Now I'm going to go in with second generation. The second generation means not to um, ink it up again so that they sort of look um, further afield so it'll look as if it's behind him. Well, that's the idea. So you can see. That can work really well. We do. Yeah, that's gone come out. Um, I've got a lot more ink on there that um, should have come off, but it hasn't. Okay, but you get the um, the effect of it being a bit further away. I can I can see it there. So what I'm going to do is ink up again. Oh. <laughs> Ink up again with the ink, not the lid. <laughs> oh dear. I was on holiday last week, so. And for those who think I did go away, um, you need to look at all my prints. I sort of went to um, places like Le Kitchenettos and places like that. So I've inked it off there so that I can get a second generation. Yeah, that's a bit better. Go over there as well. So, um, now just take this off with some water because um, it's not that good. You can use it to for watercolor. It doesn't come off as easy as the um, distress ink does. Because that's a dye ink. Okay. But that's nice and clean. But um, yes, I did need the stamp again. Oops, I need the stamp again, so I need to wash it. I'm just going to put um, a few little ones at the top here. Because grief is midday. That didn't come out quite right, did it? Because I didn't uh, go all the way down. I'm just going to catch it by there, no deal, no. How come they do it so perfect on the telly? First time. Or do they? Do they pretend? I don't let you know when you've made a mistake. No, they're good at it. Yep, it's not looking like that at all. So don't get too much of that. They are very busy, but and I've got that over that way. Yeah, I'm putting by there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm off camera here. What I'm doing is spraying my stamp. In case you wonder what I'm doing, I'll come out a bit. Yeah, I've only just um, been introduced to um, Versa Fine Clear, to be, to be fair. Which is like, well, I've watched using it. I've watched somebody use it and then um, I thought, oh, I'll give that a try. I know. Does Lavinia Stamp use it? She might use it. And Tracy Evans might use it. Um, Mandy might use it. Louis. There's, I've been watching so many. I don't know who used what now. <laughs> um, Okay, so next I'm going to do like a little place to um, sort of ground in. All I'm going to do is sort of rip a piece of paper. And I should use that. Put my unicorn where I want him. Be okay by there. And I'm just going to catch his foot 
and I'm going to oh, didn't get my green. I'm searching again, Sally. Right, this is Distress Ink. Um, now, there's various blending tools. There's these, you've got um, um, washing up sponges, there's cut and dry foam, there's these small little things. I was going to go through them all, but it's 12 o'clock and people will be getting bored. And there's um, these blenders. Um, for this one, I've already got green on here, so I'm going to go in with this. I rediscovered these. Could go in with a bit of um, darker green over that, can't I? It's not a crime, but I'm mixing these in memento and the they're a dye ink. I've used these before actually for um, stamping and they haven't been too bad. I've seen somebody use them for stamping as well. don't know who. Again. Yeah, I didn't like that one. It was too light. So we've got a little hill there. My desk is closing in around me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick him on there. Let me just have a look what I did so that I'm not missing anything like I was with those things. Um, glue. I put my glue away because, oh no, I didn't. No, I remembered that I needed it. Right, the glue that I always use, um, Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue. Um, I know one or two bought it on my recommendation and love it so you know i'm good at some things no it is it's an excellent glue it dries it dries very quickly and it sticks most things and it dries clear i don't know about you i find that even if the glue dries clear glue is glue and if you get it over the edges you'll still see it And even under acetate, you still see blue, I think. Need to cover it up. Right. There we go. I could do this back to front, but no, I'm not going to. Here we go. And now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm, I've always got um, quite a few um, cut-out circles. I die-cut them, or you can just drill around something and actually cut them out. So, um, I'm just going to... I've, put, I've actually gone over the edge with his hoof. So, I'm not doing very well with this. Don't go over the edge with the hoof. Um, what colour should I do it? It's red. I some orange. Yeah, I need some orange. Some ripe persimmon, and it's um, distressing. Um, no, I don't have anything to use to do it, so I'm going to have to use one of these. I'm using everything today not really use these so i don't you know i've got them but i haven't used them let's do it a little bit just in case i don't like it i'm just taking it from there and just pushing it out very lightly this, this is a new pad so well, that's not new. It was um, it was Stuart's, but he's never used it, so I've commonly 
家でコンブスケッチで Just to、um, finish off, I'm going to try and put some yellow inside. <coughs> I've got one of them things underneath. I don't know if I can do that now. So, the worst thing about these demos is、um, going live and doing videos, is all the clearing up I have to do after. You wouldn't believe. Yes, you would. You can see it. Right, I'm just going to go inside. It's not going to actually show up very well because I've got too much red and red. This is only something sort of very quickly just to give you an idea of the world. but... Um, it's all about looking for something because this doesn't really come out on black, or it doesn't look as if it has. I could all have, always have used one of these to go inside. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, now the next thing I'm going to do quickly. Is trim this down. Hi, Mary. Don't worry about being late. There's, um, it'll be on replay, so you're fine. A lot of the things I've done, you'll have known anyway. I'm just going to trim it down now. Don't like going from that end, so I'm going to take it all the way up here. I put them in the first place. <laughs> Gonna be cutting off the sun here and half of his foot. No, I'm not cutting his foot off. Now he's a bit near to the edge. That's because I want to pay attention. I bet you get what I'm. That would have been quite nice had I not、um, sort of cut off, put in too near the edge. But I can.、Um, basically, then what I would do is I'm probably going to chop this up and use it for something else,、um, but put it on something like that. On a card,、um, I actually did fold the card in half because I was going to finish it off, but I'm not happy that he's sort of off the edge.、Um, let me just stick that down there and then cut off the excess either with some scissors or.、Um, I'm going right down, if for those who weren't here at the beginning, I'm going right down to the very basics about how to cut things, how to do things like this. Um, because of、um, we've got a lot of new people in there, so I'm sorry I'm repeating a lot of things, but、um, we all start somewhere, and sometimes we forget the basics as well. So, yeah, basically, you can put a nice little、um, sentiment there, and you've got like、um, a card or a picture. You could actually frame it、um, if, the poor, if his hoof wasn't sort of. Looks like he's trying to jump off the page. <laughs> But there you go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I've got quite a few ideas.、Um, yeah, been watching too many things, putting, putting them all together, adding bits and pieces in. So,、um, so yeah, I've got quite a few ideas for the next few weeks. Now, I said May was going to be inks and paints. And stamps, etc.、Um, I'm not going to have a theme for June. I am going to carry this on、um, to do at least once a week. And、um, I'm actually going to 
go with the flow. It will be a lot of ink again and backgrounds and things like that. But I'm going to go with the flow and um, add things in. So I'm not, as I say, I'm not going to do a specific thing. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed May because this is the last one of May. Um, Matting on silver, then black. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, very good, Maria. Yeah. <clears throat> so, working on silver and then black. Move him off the edge. Very good. <clears throat> yeah, I might actually have a go at that um, later. I don't know about you, I'm always on to the next project. Once I'm halfway through one, I want to do a different one. But yeah, I might do that later and see how it looks. If I'm Mm. yeah I will. so i'll see you all in the group um i'm hope no i don't hope i will definitely back be back next no i won't be back next wednesday sorry i'll let you know what day i'm i'm hopefully going to the hospital with stuart he's got an appointment next wednesday so i'm hoping that it will go ahead and i'm allowed to go with him um so it won't be Wednesday morning, but you will get one next week. Okay, so I shall see you all then. And thank you very much for joining. I'll see you in the group. Bye-bye.